everyone welcome back to my channel learn at cloud analytics today we are going to discuss about one of the scenario based power bi interview question so the requirement is that we have two different tables called customer and sales table like this so we have the customer table where we have records like for customer and the name and in my customer sales table we have the customer id and the sales amount corresponding to them now our requirement is that we would like to have the table which would have based on my customer table but should display the customer who do not have a sales record in my sales table okay so again i'll repeat this question so we have two different tables wherein in my first table which is customer table we have the customer id and the corresponding name and in my sales table we have the customer id and the corresponding sales amount now we would like to get the customers who do not have the sales record in my sales table and the output structure should be based on my customer table which means that the column should be based on my customer table so the output should just hold my id and the name who are not existing in my customer sales table so now let's try to understand how we can create this particular requirement so for this we are going to create a new table and uh, we will call this table as a difference table and here what are we going to create here so we are going to create a uh, based on a dax function where our requirement is that we would like to filter the records from my customer table which uh, do not exist in my sales table so therefore we are going to use the dax function called filter and what are we trying to filter so we are need uh, so we are going to filter the records based on my customer table okay so based on my customer table we would like to filter the records to see or uh, to understand which are not existing in my sales table so therefore which does not exist so for that we are using this not contains so which are not existing in my sales table. So my sales table name is customer sales. And now how are we going to relate these two different tables? So we know that when we have to combine two tables, we have to perform more or we have to uh, relate these two different tables. So how are we going to join these two tables based on my customer ID from both the tables? So therefore we are going to specify the ID as a key or the column column and from my second table which is my customer sales from my customer sales as customer sales uh, customer id and from my customer table customer id okay now if we hit on and apply we should be able to look at the uh, column or we should be able to look at the record of the customer who is not existing in my sales table so let's try to apply this condition and we can see that Rahul is not existing in my sales table. So let's try to revisit those two tables to understand if this output is displaying as expected. So I'm going to uh, look at my records in my customer table. So in my customer table, uh, we have three different customer IDs calling a uh, one, two, and three. And now if I go to my customer sales table, we see that we only see two customer IDs, which is one and three, but there is no record for customer ID two. Therefore, when we have created this particular expression, it is generating that Rahul is not existing in my customer sales table. So uh, let me re uh, revisit this particular DAX function again. So in our requirement, we do not want to uh, uh, we wanted to get the customer uh, information who is not existing in my second table. So for that, we are using this filter function 
filter based on my customer table who is not existing in my sales table in my not existing in my customer sales table and we are relating these two tables based on my customer id from my sales table and from my customer table now when we have applied this we see that rahul is not existing in my sales table now let's try to improvise this particular scenario to see which customers are existing in my sales table so for this particular requirement it's so simple that we just need to remove this condition saying not okay and then when we hit on apply we should ideally be looking at the customer id 1 and 3 because these two ids are existing in my customer sales table see we have customer id 1 and 3 okay so this is how we are able to achieve our given requirement in any uh, scenario so i hope this video has helped you to understand and analyze on any given scenario within your interview scenarios so if you do like this video please do not forget to give a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section so that i would be able to create more such videos in the coming weeks thank you